Why does the dog keep shaking its head? Why does it keep scratching its ears? How to solve ear scratching in floppy ear dogs? A veterinary medicine and surgery come alive to pet owners, proudly sponsored by Topio Vet Singapore. Many floppy-eared dogs like Schnauzers and Maltesers usually have very itchy ears. This is because floppy ears prevent ventilation and drainage, causing obstructions in the ear canal. This may also occur in other breeds without floppy ears, like the German Shepherd, Border Collie, etc. Almond here has severely obstructed ears. The moist, warm conditions in each ear canal is the ideal place for bacterial growth and can lead to ear infections. These bacteria produce pungent smells. Elman has bad body odor as he has a habit of scratching his itchy ears. However, as the dog's ear canal is L-shaped, he is unable to reach the itchy side. Hence, he starts scratching his eyes and flank. The bacteria seeps into his scratches and festers, producing an unpleasant smell. So what can we do to stop this? The, the solution, this is a 4 year old, right? No, five, five, five years, years old, only. they still have another maybe 10 years of life. So the solution is to open up the ear canal and uh, let, the, let the dog have a free flow of the, the water circulation and the ventilation. This will be done two weeks later. Lateral ear canal resection is a surgical technique that opens up the vertical ear canal by opening up the side wall of the dog's ear. In a normal dog's ear, its ear has an L-shaped canal. The vertical canal is shaded in red and the horizontal canal is shaded in blue. In this surgery, a marker pen is used to outline the surgical area so that the vet knows exactly where to cut. The flap of skin is cut out as indicated by the red line as shown. This would expose the side wall of the vertical ear canal as shown by the tube black red portion in the picture. The skin flap is then removed. Next, two incisions are made on the side wall of the vertical ear canal following the black dotted lines in the picture. The side wall of the vertical ear canal is then folded down exposing the inside of the vertical ear canal. Some of the excess ear canal flap is then removed. This exposes the opening of the horizontal ear canal as shown. Lastly, the drain board and area around the horizontal ear canal opening is sutured as illustrated by the black stitches in the diagram. What if nothing is done for your dog's ear? Without intervention, tumors may start growing in the dog's ear. Also, bacteria will spread to other parts of the dog when it starts scratching the area around its face, neck, and also its flank as a nerve from the ear connects these areas, making the dog unsure of the actual area of itch. The green areas on the dog indicate the areas where the bacteria will spread to. As the bacteria has an unpleasant smell and further aggravated by the bacteria in its saliva when the dog licks itself, it will cause the dog to have very bad body odour. Are there alternatives? Yes, there are. However, it does not provide a long-term solution. Sending your dog to the groomer regularly for ear cleaning and hair plucking may help reduce the chances of getting obstructed ears. Post-surgery March 14, 2014, 10 a.m. now. This now the, had a very bad body odor and very bad infection and very painful left ear due to the hairy ears and lack of ventilation and drainage. Finally, the owner has decided on this surgery called lateral ear canal resection. The dog is now around 20 hours after surgery by Dr. Daniel Singh. And as you can see, there is a horizontal canal opening. And uh, this is the drainage cartilage flap. And uh, this is 20, 20 hours after surgery. So far, so good. The stitches are holding. I did sedate the dog to get the, the ear washed because it was quite bloody. Now, this surgery is quite effective for dogs with hairy ears. And uh, most Singapore owners are unaware of this surgery or they are not willing to pay for the 
the cost which is around around eight hundred dollars. Salman has gone for lateral ear canal resection surgery and is now recovering from the surgery. As you can see, his ears are much wider now and provide better ventilation. 19 March 2014, five days after Alman's surgery, Alman is recovering nicely. <laughs>